All righty. So today we are sitting down to do another one shot review. The movie that I watched today was Batman Soul of the Dragon. This is a movie that takes place in the DC animated universe. It's kind of like a what if story. There's a lot of different DC movies like this. So I'm sure if you've clicked on this, you're aware of that. But what is the setup for this one? So Imagine Batman exists, but it's in the 1970s, and instead of maybe the upbringing where he trained in the League of Shadows or whatever we saw in the Dark Knight trilogy, he instead learned Kung Fu from a sensei in the middle of this mountain with a bunch of other students. And as a course of doing so, we learn that there is a gate to like a demon realm and a sword called the soul breaker that can absorb somebody's soul and so they donated to open the gate up and the purpose of learning these martial arts for at least the sensei is to protect these items from allowing this demon snake thing to come back to life and where does batman fall into all this well in present day which is 1970s in this movie a faction of bad guys have gained access to the gate and they want to get the sword and they eventually do get the sword um, in order to open it up and resurrect that snake being. And so then Batman and his former classmates have to team up Kung Fu style and take out the threat and then make sure that the guy doesn't get reincarnated. And included in this is almost like one of his former classmates is like a Bruce Lee type of character. So that's kind of interesting too. It's almost like a Batman Bruce Lee crossover. But um, anyway, that that's the setup for the movie. I mean, this is going to be a pretty quick video because it's a, uh, you know, it's an animated Batman story. But you know, what are the things I liked about the movie? I thought that the way that they tried to display a 1970s aesthetic and they did the whole like Kung Fu angle and the you know the sword steals somebody's soul to open up the gate and batman's only loosely connected to this because of his background i like all of that i thought that was a pretty cool idea for the plot and nothing sort of anti-batman really happens in this other than that his classmates have absolutely no issue killing people and then at one point batman kills the body of his old monk thinking that you know the demons inside of this thing and that will kill it and just for a moment there I was like I wonder if Batman would really do that or is it is it you know no killing people that are alive human whatever but demon apparitions he doesn't care um, not sure but other than that you know I thought it was pretty good it played out pretty much like any other Batman thing would do the aesthetic angle was cool the way they tried to turn it into like a kung fu movie was kind of cool and uh yeah, I think that everybody that voice, sometimes with these DC movies, you have an issue with like the voice actors that they use don't match ones that you're familiar with. And in this one, I think all of that was all good. So, you know, if I'm thinking about trying to plug it into a score, I think because it's not that serious of a movie, it's just an animated movie or whatever, but I still had a very good time exploring the new characters as like Bruce's classmates, as well as sort of seeing them all you know, go Kung Fu on all these enemies. I think that plugging this into the score out of five, I would give this movie probably a light three to a solid three. And I think it was a good time. So if you have the ability to watch this on like HBO Max or something like that, or if you're lucky enough to own the Blu-ray like I do, I highly recommend this. And um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you felt any different about this movie. And that's the review.